update you on a major story involving Omaha Mayor Gene Stothert and the CEO of ConAgra. The mayor is speaking right now. Let's listen in. Um, it won't just affect Omaha, but it will affect a lot of their, their production all over the country. Um, he, he did not answer a question that I asked about the headquarters. He did stress that we, he would make an announcement to his employees and simultaneously release a press release by the end of this week. Um, he did uh, really talk about Omaha meant a lot to them. Um, he said that of all their areas in the country where they produce, that Omaha would still remain the area with the largest number of employees. So there would still be a very large presence of ConAgra in the city of Omaha. He said that they were going to go ahead with their Shine the Light on Hunger campaign. They were going to open the ice rink this fall. And he said that he understands the stress that he's putting everybody under with, because the unknown is out there, but he did say that the sooner is better. And again, by the end of the week, he said he will make an announcement. And he said he feels like once he does make the announcement, people will understand. And he actually used the words that it's not as bad as it seems. Mm -hmm. You know, um, one of the things that I was reading today, Crane's Chicago Business Journal out of Chicago is reporting that it's all but a done deal, that the corporate headquarters is going there. Mm -hmm. Do you worry that he's telling Chicago politicians more than he's telling you? I asked him about what I read in the Chicago Tribune yesterday, and you know he kind of shook his head and said um, that not all the stories you read are true. And he did stress, he said, this is not a uh, Chicago versus Omaha thing. He said, this is about looking at the entire business, the entire industry, the entire company. He believes in zero-based budgeting, where you go down to zero every year and then you build up from there. And he said this is just about making them more profitable in the market that they are in today. He really did stress that 30 years ago, um, what that Omaha pulled out all the stops and went to bat for them to get them in their headquarters downtown now. You know, we offered them TIF. We did a lot of re uh, remediation of some env uh, environmental areas. Um, we had 12 buildings at that time that had landmark designation. And he, he really stressed that we pulled out all the stops and gave every incentive we could at that time. Um, you know, so he said it wasn't an issue of what the city wasn't doing or what the state wasn't doing. It was not that simple. It was an issue of how he's going to make his business more profitable, and he was going to look at every single position. It's interesting that you brought up incentives, or that he brought up that incentives are not an issue with his decision making, considering that it's being reported today that the, that the Illinois governor signed tax incentives for them to move their headquarters mm -hmm. there. So when you look at it from that perspective, it looks like they were interested in some incentives. Well, you know, every state has a different incentives that they can offer. Every cities have different incentives that they can offer. It's a lot different uh, when a, a new business moves to a place or a business moves to a place like when they built their headquarters here. There are, there are startup incentives like TIF, for example. Um, you know, LB775 was created for ConAgra. So there were a lot that Omaha did at that time. I'm not familiar with what the state of Illinois can offer. Um, I'm not even sure that the headquarters is moving up there. He did not tell me that. Um, and so I don't know yet. But he did say that the entire company was, they were looking at reorganizing, and it would affect more areas than just Omaha. You know, it's really, <coughs> we talk about, you know, there's the job aspect and the ConAgra aspect mm -hmm. you brought up. Their community work as well. With yes. The light on hunger. I mean, right. They're a major player because they're a corporate mm -hmm. office in Omaha and in some of those philanthropic efforts here. Right. Historically, that type of work follows a headquarters. Right. Um, I would imagine you are getting, fielding some concern from folks about that. Well, I know Omaha means a lot to ConAgra, and I told ConAgra that they mean a lot to us and we mean a lot to them. And uh, they recognize that, and they recognize that, and I, I stress that they have been such a good community partner. Um, but I think the things that their values, the things that are important to them, like feeding the hungry, are still going to be their values. Whether um, And they did not make any indication if the corporate headquarters were moving. So I just, I, I don't know about that yet. Hopefully we will find out within a few days. Uh, by the end of the week, we only have two days left, um, what the decisions will be. He did say that there, you know, there will be other decisions that would have to be made in the future, too. But he said, um, hopefully by the end, of, or absolutely by the end of this week, he would let the employees know and the media know what decisions have been made so far. Apart from any incentives, which you mm -hmm. said they're not interested in, mm -hmm. 
did was there any indication that the city can do something? I asked them that. You know, I asked them, is there anything that the city could do? You say you're not looking for an incentive package. Is there anything that we can do? And he told me, no. You know, there isn't anything that the city could do at this point in time. This was a, an industry company reorganization issue. And it was to keep up with the times that we are in. Food industry has changed. What people eat, how they eat it, how they prepare it has all changed. Agriculture has changed. It's not like it was 30 years ago. And so he, he really stressed that there wasn't anything additional that the city or the state or the Omaha Chamber could do um, that would change the outcome of this decision. If ConAgra's headquarters do leave, do you worry about what it will do to Omaha's economic landscape? I worry about every company in Omaha, and I want all of our, our current companies to be successful and grow, and I want new companies to come in. So that's always a concern. But um, I also don't like to deal in hypothetical situations. We have to wait and see what will happen. I mean, that's a beautiful campus there, and he stressed multiple times that Omaha would still have a very strong presence and be the largest employer of ConAgra. And so I know that they that some part of ConAgra, if not the majority, will still remain in Omaha. So it's speculative to, to guess what would happen to a property if indeed um, that they still will remain on that property. But like I said, they're going to go right ahead with the ice rink this, this winter at Christmas. They're going to go ahead with the Shine the Light on Hunger campaign. And so I think they still have a big interest in this, in this city. Now there's also the human aspect of this too that concerns me a lot because um, there is the potential that some people could lose their jobs and their position. And that's a concern to me. And uh, I think it's a concern to everyone in o Omaha. Um, fortunately, in Omaha, although it's, um, it's very difficult for anybody to lose a job that they love, fortunately in Omaha, we have a very, very low unemployment rate, and we are in a, in a labor shortage now. So there are a lot of jobs in the city of Omaha now. But it, that doesn't make it any easier, I understand, on the people that work there. You know, being in the position of knowing things before most people know them and um, you know you were the, the chief decision maker of one of the, in, in the city mm -hmm. having to wait just like everyone else what's that like well it's certainly anxiety producing um but you know I, I, you have to be patient and uh i have to go on what the the ceo said um it's it's not my job as mayor to try to um, um tell a private company what to do all I can do is offer as mayor, any, uh, ask the question, is there anything that we can do? And that I did, and the answer was no, there wasn't. It's clear right now that Chicago's doing anything it can to lure Fortune 500 companies mm -hmm. to the city. Mm -hmm. What's Omaha doing to get new Fortune 500 companies here? You know, I think, number one, we, the city and the Omaha Chamber are great partners. We pay them to do economic development for us. Um, so we are always looking for new opportunities. We have a lot of new opportunities that have um, occurred in the last couple years. You know, we wanted to keep HDR here. They could go anywhere in the country, even though they were already here. They could do their headquarters anywhere, and, and they're going to build downtown. Um, what I can do as mayor is make sure we have the policies in place that is attractive to businesses, that we are very competitive with our taxes, that we are a safe city, that we have good infrastructure, that we offer them the incentives that we have, um, such as TIF, that the legislature has incentives, uh, economic uh, development incentives. Those are the things that we continue to work on. There was just a hearing this past week in the legislature about new economic development incentives. What are the things, other things that we could do that other communities, our states have done? And so we are always looking at ways to make it more attractive for businesses to come here and our current businesses to stay here and grow. Omaha Mayor Jean Stothert answering reporters' questions after an extremely important meeting she had at ConAgra headquarters on the riverfront this afternoon. She referred to he uh, a bunch of times, he being uh, ConAgra CEO Sean Conley. Here's the takeaway from all of this, what you just heard uh, the mayor in her briefing. Uh, ultimately, the CEO told her uh, that he did not mention and has not mentioned moving headquarters to Chicago after reports out of Chicago that it's a done deal. Uh, that Omaha will still have a very large presence when it comes to ConAgra in our city. But this is a huge, huge point, the mayor said. There is nothing 
nothing, according to the CEO of ConAgra, Sean Connolly, that Omaha or the state of Nebraska can do at this point from preventing any movement of the company from Omaha out of our city. The mayor said the CEO would not tell her what the changes are that are to be announced, but again, he reiterated we should all know, the employees should know, the city should know, the media should know by the end of this week, sometime this week. So we're here on Wednesday. We should know very soon. Yeah, the mayor also said uh, for the 3,000 employees in the Omaha area who work at ConAgra, this is a very anxiety producing time, especially after the CEO said at the shareholders meeting in Omaha last week that job cuts are likely and transfer of departments likely as well. We will continue to follow the story throughout the night on KMTV Action 3 News and bring you the latest tonight at 10. We're back after.